Le Safre is a family-owned company that first began cultivating yeast in northern France in 1853. We visited their U.S. plant manager, Dennis Berry, in Dothan, Alabama, to learn about the care they put into creating non-GMO yeast. As the plant manager here, the very best part about my job is getting to lead a really exceptional team of people, all in a direction that I get to have a hand in setting. And here at this plant, we're very focused on quality and consistency of our output. And everybody is focused on that goal. And I'm just honored to be leading them. And I, I enjoy that every day. Yeast is a single cell microorganism. It's something we grow versus something we make. This is where it all begins. This is the pure culture that we received from the Lasaf Biotech Center. By the time this slant is exhausted and we're no longer using it, we've made enough commercial yeast to make over 50 million loaves of bread. The industrial process of yeast uses large amounts of air because the yeast needs to respirate as it grows, as well as the non-GMO cane molasses, which is its primary nutrient. We also add various vitamins and minerals to provide a nutrient-rich atmosphere for the yeast to grow. When we're making active dry yeast, the process removes the water until it's over 95% dry, less than 5% moisture. We do this to increase the shelf life and stability of the final product, and it retains its ability to make the bread rise the same way as fresh yeast does. Here at Lasaf, we fully embrace One Degree Organics program of ingredient transparency. I think our companies have much in common. Just like they care that their customers receive a fresh, wholesome product, we care that ours do as well. Together, we're working to feed everyone and we are very happy to be partnered with them. We care, just like your customers care, about the high quality of our food ingredients. We want something that we all feel good about feeding to our own families.